Question five is a mean value theorem problem. Here, the first thing I need to do is make sure that things are continuous on the interval. So if I look at the function f of x equals the root of 12 minus x, basically this is continuous everywhere where x is less than 12. If I put in something like 13, I get a negative under the root. That's why it's outside of the domain. Since my interval is negative 4 to 12, that is all included in the domain. It is all continuous within that region, which means that I will be able to use the MVT. So yes, it is applied. In order to find all values C in AB such that F prime of C equals this, I first need to plug in A and B from the interval to the equation. So if I do F of negative 4, that becomes the root of 12 minus negative 4, which is the root of 12 plus 4, or the root of 16. I get that to be positive 4. When I put in positive 12, it becomes the root of 12 minus 12, which is the root of 0. That just equals 0. So what I did was I found that the endpoints have coordinates x equals negative 4, y equals 4, and x equals 12, y equals 0. I can now find the slope guaranteed by the MVT by doing y2, 0, minus y1, 4, over x2, 12, minus x1, negative 4. On top, I get negative 4. On bottom, I get 16. So negative one-fourth is the slope that I'm guaranteed. My next step is to take the derivative. So f of x can really be rewritten as f of x equals 12 minus x to the power of one-half. Here I'm going to have to use a chain rule when I take the derivative. So the chain rule tells me f prime of x, the one-half comes down, it becomes one-half, same baby inside, 12 minus x, now to the power of 1 half minus 1, or negative 1 half, times the derivative of big. The derivative of 12 minus x, 12 goes to 0, negative x becomes negative 1. If I simplify this slightly, the 2 stays on bottom, negative 1 stays on top, and this 12 minus x goes to the bottom as the positive 1 half power, so it becomes the root of 12 minus x. This is the correct derivative. I now need to set it equal to the slope that I found in the first part. So I get negative 1 fourth equals negative 1 over 2, the root of 12 minus x. I'm going to cross multiply. So 4 times negative 1 gives me negative 4. This times negative 1 gives me negative 2, the root of 12 minus x. Next step, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Then I get 2 equals the root of 12 minus x. If I square both sides, then I get 4 equals 12 minus x. Last step, subtract 12 from both sides. That's going to give me 4 minus 12 is negative 8 equals negative x, which means x equals 8. That 8 is between the negative 4 and 12, so it is within my interval, which was guaranteed by the mean value theorem. Problem number 6 asks me to use the graph to estimate the open interval in which the function is increasing or decreasing. They do give me the function, so if I wasn't sure where it lines up on the graph, I could easily take the derivative, find it that way, but hopefully it's fairly straightforward on the graph. Here on the graph, we have a maximum point at x equals negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So really, we're going up or increasing until we get to negative 4. We're going down or decreasing once we get past negative 4. So increasing starts at negative infinity, goes up to negative 4. Decreasing starts at 4 goes on to infinity. 